plant hormones are signaling molecules that are produced in small amounts and transported via the phloem sap. So we know that whenever a hormone is released, whether it is the human body or if it is the plant, hormones are always produced in small amounts because we only need a small amount of hormone to uh, produce the change that we want. So the hormones in plants are transported through the phloem sap. We know that in plants there are two main types of vascular tissue. There is the xylem and there is the phloem. Now the xylem uh, transports water from the roots to the shoots, whereas the phloem, it transports sugars and hormones bidirectionally, so from roots to shoots or shoots to roots. So we have the hormones traveling through the phloem sap. Now, when we talk about hormones, there are two specific terms that we must first understand, and that is tropism and phototropism. So tropism is a plant curving toward or away from a specific stimulus. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. And phototropism is a specific kind of tropism where a plant curves towards light. So tropism is a plant curving towards or away a stim from a stimulus, and phototropism is a specific it is a specific type of tropism where a plant curves towards the light. Now, auxin is a plant hormone which essentially promotes growth. Auxin is produced at the tips, so either at the uh, shoot apical meristem or the root apical meristem. Um, but it is primarily found at the shoot apical meristem, which is the tip of the plant. That means that if we cut off the tip of the plant, that plant would no longer have auxin, because auxin is produced at the tip, the shoot apical meristem. Now, auxin, its primary function is growth. And how does it promote growth? So auxin once so when a plant first begins to grow and it emerges from above the ground it is uh, exhibiting positive uh, phototropism so it is it is it's exhibiting positive tropism so it's growing towards a signal and that signal is light but over time that plant it begins to curve it begins to curve towards the signal which is the light and this is phototropism but what is causing this plant to turn towards light? So the auxin that is being produced at the shoot apical meristem, it is traveling unidirectionally, so it travels from top to bottom, and it accumulates on the shaded region of the, of the plant. So if this is our plant, we can see that the auxin, it is accumulating on the shaded side because the sun is over here, so the light energy is going primarily to this side over here. And as the auxin accumulates, we know that auxin is promoting growth. So if the auxin is accumulating on one side, that means one side is growing more than the other side. If that one side is growing more and more, and that other side, it's growing slowly, the side with more auxin, the shaded region, it starts to bend because it's growing so rapidly, it starts to bend. And that's what's causing this phototropism. It's essentially the auxin buildup on one side, which is promoting the growth of the plant on one side more than it is the other side. So that's how auxin promotes growth, and that's how it also promotes phototropism. Now, auxin also affects the size and the shape of the branches and stems. So areas of high or low level of auxin affect the shape and size of the plant. Because we know that if there's a high level of auxin, it promotes growth. If there's low levels of auxin, it will not promote growth. So um, when the auxin, uh, an, uh, auxin is also responsible for um, branch growth. So when auxin production is decreased, when it is decreased, lateral branches are allowed to develop, whereas when oxygen levels are high, the lateral uh, branches won't develop. So we'll see branching like this, 
but when the oxygen levels are reduced, we will see lateral branching. Now, a couple more things about ox um, about auxin. It promotes phototropism. Uh, it is transported unidirectionally, top and bottom. But it's important to note that auxin is both in the root apical meristem and the shoot apical meristem. So auxin does have the ability to travel from bottom to top, but even the roots they depend they don't have that much auxin. They depend more on the shoot apical meristem. So essentially it's just unidirectional top to bottom. Um, and then auxin also uh, is responsible for plant phyllotaxy. And phyllotaxy is the arrangement of leaves. So it is the pattern of leaves. So whether we have plants growing like this or we have something like this, this is phyllotaxy. It is the arrangement of the leaves on a plant. And auxin is responsible for that. So local peaks, so areas of high auxin concentration, uh, will determine the leaf pattern of a plant. And um, another thing auxin is responsible for is the vein patterns in leaves. So less, if there's less auxin, we will see more secondary leaves and we will see more loosely organized main veins. Whereas if we have more auxin, we will see less secondary leaves. Now, how does auxin promote growth and phototropism? Well, one of the hypotheses is the acid growth hypothesis. And here it is suggested that as auxin concentration is increased, so if we have a high level of auxin, that opens up the transporter, the channel protein on the plasma membrane that transports hydrogen. So the hydrogens are pumped along the plasma membrane. And as the hydrogen concentration increases on one side and decreases on the other side, this creates a positive negative difference because we have H plus accumulating on one side, which generates an overall positive charge. And the other side with less hydrogens becomes negatively charged due to, due to the reduced number of hydrogens. This electrochemical potential uh, difference and the high acidity uh, caused by this H plus activates a specific type of uh, a specific type of an enzyme, and that enzyme is an expansin. An expansin, what it does is that it breaks the bonds. It breaks the hydrogen bonds uh, in the cell wall. Once those hydrogen bonds are broken up that uh, cell that cell wall becomes more loose and this causes the uptake um, of water into the cell because the cell wall is now loose because the bonds are broken more water more water is able to come in and as more water comes in now water is coming in because of that high ion concentration so the water comes in and the turgor pressure inside the cell is increased so water is pushing up against the cell wall and this increase in turgor pressure is what causes the cell to expand. It causes the cell to grow. So what happened is that we have high level of auxin. High level of auxin stimulates the opening of the channel protein, the transporter that transports hydrogen. Hydrogens are pumped along the plasma membrane. The acidification of H plus causes the activation of a specific type of enzyme known as an expansin, and that expansin will break the uh, break the bonds, the hydrogen bonds between uh, it, within the cell wall. This creates the cell wall to become more loose. Water is able to enter, and water is entering because of that increased ion concentration. We know that water will move uh, towards a higher ion concentration as it moves in the turgor pressure inside the cell will increase, which causes the water to push, against, push up against the cell wall and the cell increases in size. And we see that over here. So we have, um, we have this, uh, this H plus pump. It is activated by the auxin. We see H plus being 
pumped along the plasma membrane and this uh, this inc increased um, acidity of age plus activates the enzyme expansin and expansin will break the bonds within the cell wall once those bonds are broken that uh, it creates a more loose cell wall water enters turgor pressure increases and the cell grows and those are the functions of auxin so auxin promotes growth um, it promotes phototropism and uh, and the peaks of auxin promote uh, promote uh, phyllotaxy so phyllotaxy is dependent on auxin concentration an auxin concentration uh, is also responsible for the vein structure in plants. Auxin is produced in the shoot apical meristems and the root ap apical meristems, but it is primarily produced in the shoots, so it's moving unidirectionally from roots to shoots.